Everybody loves when the song starts really quiet. That's a theory I heard from Albert Parfait. Albert Parfait making them biscuits. Wait a minute, hold on. You're not going to do the thing? Well, this was last week. This you, was goddamn last week. What, what do you mean? We had a fake Brian in, and he couldn't do the O, so we had to restart the intro so we could do the O, and now there's real Brian back, and you didn't do the O. Are we just done with the O? Just tell me we're done with the O. Where'd the O go? All right, all right. Where'd the O go? You know what? Where'd the O go? Hashtag, they're saying it right now on Twitter. Where'd the O go? The O is hey, look, in my heart. If the O is dead, let's do an R.I.P.O. Nope, nope, nope. R.I.P.O. Nope, nope, nope. nope They're nope. already saying it on Twitter. It's R.I.P.O. <sighs> if, 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 it's, if, it's, if the O is dead, just tell us. You don't got to keep it from us. Let me start again. No. <laughs> if you don't want to, don't. That can be the new thing. You talking about biscuits or whatever the fuck you were saying. All right, here we go. That can be the new thing. I know everybody loves when you scream, oh, but you could throw that away. Throw it in the trash <laughs> if you want. Chuck it in the garbage. A dumpster full of O's. Oh, whoa. Be here on a Tuesday night, just like it's always been most of our lives. Oh my God, fucking Christ! I think that's true. Welcome to the only show where I'm pretty sure we've spent more Tuesday nights together than we haven't. I'm Brian Brushwood. It's gonna be a great night. Welcome, Justin Robert Young. How are you, sir? Shit, yeah. Shit, yeah. Shit, yeah. That's what George Washington said uh, to Abraham Lincoln. That in would heaven. be heaven. Okay, okay. Shit, yeah. Okay. And then they gave each other a 14 level handshake that you didn't even know they could do. Okay. That's why you want to be good because you want to go to heaven where that happens every half hour on the hour in the grotto. I want vitamins mm -hmm. that are just the letter Y. Yep. And I want them to be called shit yeah. So that you can gobble them down. Yeah. And every morning you can shit yeah. Oh, that's good. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. No. Uh, wait. Well, that's another thing. We'll, 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 we'll leave that fuck, for Q3. Oh, uh, we'll, fuck fuck we'll, yeah. We'll, as a different yeah, supplement. Leave it for Q3. Leave it for Q3. Okay. Q1, we're shit. Yeah. Mm. Q1, we're shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, Q4. Oh, yeah. Justin. Uh huh. Have you had a have busy a... couple of weeks? Had a busy couple of weeks, uh, yeah, and 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 they ain't they ain't done, fam. I'm gonna be off to uh, the old Democratic National Convention, Chicago, a toddling town, second city, the Windy City, Meat Packers Town, city with too many nicknames. Uh, Home be, of corruption. That's another one. Home, old Daly's fuck pit is what they used to call it. Wrigley Fields oh. and the body of of that teamster. Mm, no, that's Jersey. Eh, as far as you know. Is like, wait, were you thinking that Jimmy Hoffa was in Chicago? I'm just saying if if it's corrupt and it's uh, corrupt, it's probably in Chicago. Yeah, except for Hoffa. He's apparently buried under Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands. Yeah, but did wait, wait, wait. did didn't Geraldo like promise to exhume his body and then there was Almost nothing assuredly, there? Assuredly, but I don't know what happened. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, uh, we have a live. We're not wrong in Chicago on Sunday night. 
Get your tickets by going to my Twitter, Justin R. Young, and getting the ticket link. It sounds like tickets are selling well, but it's one of those things where I don't have access to the venue's portal, so I have no idea. Uh, but the one and only Tom Merritt is going to be live at the show, flying in to Chicago to be a part of the show. So now, uh, you, be a you, part of it. You you guys are getting paid like per performance of these gigs, right? Oh, well, I mean, we, 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 we rustle our own cattle. In this business. Yeah. In this business, Brian, we rustle our own cattle. I mean, That means that we book our own shows. We pay the venue, which is why the goddamn ticket link was too late. I should wait until after the show is done to have the rest of the sentence <laughs> I wanted to say come out of my mouth. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, Brian, yes, tickets are available. We are not getting paid anything up front. We get paid when people show up to the show. But really, our payment is in gratitude because we get to meet so many awesome people that really, really love the show. It fills our tank with energy, and then we keep going on and making the show. Uh, what is the URL everyone should go to? Uh, x.com slash Justin R. Young. The pin tweet at the top is where you need to go. If there were an easier good goddamn link, I'd give it to you. But the way that they do their tickets has all the efficiency of a Chicago improv theater. Can, can, can we talk about how x.com's kind of fucked up these days? Is it? I, I, I listened to a super janky live stream uh, uh, for two hours last night. <laughs> How was it? It was definitely a lot of talking. Man, <laughs> these guys really like monologuing to each other. Uh, I don't know. I talked about it on PX3, the new PX3 that's coming out. It's like, fucking, uh, what can I say about a conversation between Donald Trump and Elon Musk that you haven't already decided in your head? Like, everyone's got their own opinions. Who are unpersuaded people on those two dudes? And, and, and there was an era where one might have been on, on one side and one might have been on another. We're not there. We're in an era where both, everybody believes either those guys are the best or the worst. So, like, what, what is the point? And it was like, oh, are you going to break down the thing? No. Why? So you can be mad at me? Just pick a fight. Are you my middle school girlfriend? Like, nobody gives a shit what I'm saying compared to what you have to say in your head. I mean, honestly, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I uh, know. I mean, well, it's just, I mean, that, what do you get? I still talked about it, so it, it, is, it is what it is. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, look, I, there was it was just very funny because there was a line, and this is what I discuss on PX3, where Donald Trump is talking about how Vladimir Putin always wanted to invade Ukraine and had told him that he wanted to invade Ukraine multiple times. And then Trump goes, he tells me about it, and he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And I said, you will not want to do it. It would be a very bad day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to quote, verbatim all right so you don't think i'm doing a bit i do uh, uh be a very bad day and then i told him what i would do and he said no way and i said way which which character is which character in this scenario <laughs> so what trump has told people <laughs> at fundraising events is that what he told Putin in a similar situation, so I'm assuming that these are the same stories, is what he told Putin whenever he would mention that he would take Ukraine is that Trump said he'd bomb Moscow. And that that is what Vladimir Putin would respond with, no way. <laughs> and then Trump would respond with way, meaning that the president of the United States went to one of our greatest geopolitical foes and when he made a bold claim essentially had a witty repartee in the same way that bill and ted would before they got into the phone booth uh, oh and also it was an essentially that if you do this out-of-pocket shit 
I'll start World War III. So think twice about whether or not you're going to pull some out-of-pocket shit. Uh, whatever. That's the kind of shit that happened on the thing. You can listen to me talk more about it on PX3. So, uh, you, uh, you've been just taking her easy, uh, waiting, waiting. You're on... the one who's been on the road more than I have. What are you talking about, dog? I only popped in and out of Vegas, man. You were living in Vegas. You yeah. were born in Vegas. <laughs> molded I by was it. molded by it. Uh, yeah, no, uh, like 12 days. Um, uh, pro tip. 12 days in Vegas is inappropriate. That should the Surgeon General should have a warning on that. So there was Magic Live where uh, most of that was like I don't know maybe I would sell some book tests or whatever, but mainly it existed in my mind as a a, a, a gift because like I I don't know how the Magic community feels about me. I just want to give a very good talk or three, uh, and 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 have meaningful conversations um and then we switch over to defcon where it's like like vampire teeth come out of brian's face and it's like uh the meat it waits <laughs> you know it's like i'm gonna sell all of the stuff i'm gonna sell the magic stuff the card tricks the lock picks and all of that stuff uh but boy after after 10 11, 12 days of that, uh, I was tired. I, w I, I got tired. It's tiring. That shit is tiring. I mean, especially when you're working, when you're selling. Dude, selling takes it out of you. You get tuckered out. I was like, uh, uh, I literally only did one day just so I could help out uh, uh, the Hack 5 booth. And I, I, I was shocked at how tired I was and how much I realized that like, you don't get increasingly tired when you are selling at a booth. You're as tired as you're going to be on day one, and then you just stay that tired the rest of the event. Like, there's just no recovering. You just live in hell and walk well, that and, cold and I, I don't want to call it hell because, of course, every single person who comes up and wants to buy something... Uh, thank you. You are no, the you no, are the no. lifeblood yeah. that keeps this independent of organization alive. Of course, of course. Not as great as the Patreon people. Patreon.com slash uh great night, although we'll get to fucking that in a second. <laughs> uh, uh but just the energy. It's just like like it just takes a lot to to see people come up and you're like, hey man, how you doing? And then uh, well, I, well, I was thinking about a blah, blah, blah. and then you gotta just you know it's just it's just it's a lot of engagement. Even for extroverts, it is just a lot of engagement. Introverts like you know you would never introverts could never. But even for extroverts, it, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. I was surprised to find out how much of an introvert I had become because. Like, while well, I was happy to have interactions and to sign things and to uh, describe and sell objects and hear very, very kind words from everybody, uh, uh, my goodness, like, the next person would come up and I would have the thought, please, just, there's only one thing I don't want you to say. I don't, just don't say one thing. No, don't, don't, no, don't, don't, no. don't. Tell don't say me. it out loud. Don't say it out loud or it's only going to happen more. Don't, don't say it out loud. Don't tell me how young you were when you started watching Scam School. That's just, yes, I'm very old. I understand this. <laughs> I, um, Dude, this ain't a rap battle. You in a long life battle with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You know that this is something that you just need to get over. That specific line. You need to you need to fall into the Balrog's pit and emerge Brian the White. You keep clinging on being Brian the Gray. So At a certain point, you're going to need to reframe that phrase to make it happy for you, or else it will rip you down. You are you are you are clinging to a vanity. I will say 
that this year, more than anyone before it, of any convention ever, my, my favorite thing has been people saying, I love your show. And then I squint my eyes, I cross both of my fingers, and I say, which one? And then they smile and they say, you know, the world's greatest con. Yeah. And then I say, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom and change my underwear again. Uh, it's, it's really, really great. It's really good to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody brought it up in the chat. Let me ask you this. Uh, or Scoop and Nova Girl, actually. Have you ever asked Teller what he thinks about the I was so young when? No, because I'm pretty sure I know now. I'm pretty sure I've lived that life. And I know. No, 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 no. But how he deals with it. He has been a mentor to you in so many ways. I would, I would imagine that he would probably have interesting thoughts on, on what it is like. And there's few people on uh, who have had the careers that Penn and Teller have had in show business at all, which like the, the only people who get that comment are people who have successful, long careers in show business. That's it. Those are the only folks who get it. Right. And so you, congratulations. You get it, but have you ever thought about asking other people or have you ever asked any other people about that? You know what I'll do is I, I, I try to not bug Teller with little things, but uh, I, I try to, in general, provide gifts. And the next gift is the upcoming episode of World's Greatest Con. Mm -hmm. That may be something I tie along with it and I'm like, by the way, yes, yeah. How do you handle this? Because I got to assume he's gotten it a fucking lot. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, I, I got to assume he was getting that shit pre nine eleven. I mean, I got to assume it's how we started our friendship when I wrote him at the age of nineteen and said, "What, uh, what I, I was in second grade yeah. when I first saw like uh like, it, that is a weird thing because it's the ultimate compliment. It is, it is, and it's meaningful and it's powerful and it's true. And yet you spit on these people that that say it to you. I don't spit on anyone." Sorry, they you view it as them spitting on you. No, what it means you is you spit on each other at no, the same time. I, I just swallow. You're like two dinosaurs from Jurassic Park I with just, acid spit. I, I just swallow a little bit more vomit. That's the uh, it's you know, it's so it hurts you. People shouldn't compliment you. I I don't. They should hold their compliments inside. They should revere you from a distance. They should just stand from you across the room no, 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 no. and okay. then all right. All right. say, hmm. All right. You know what? Uh, uh, for those of you guys looking to uh, learn the code, the right thing to do is to say, do you know what my favorite most recent thing I saw from you was? Now you have my full attention and okay. we are engaged. If that's If you want to actually engage with brian that's what you say yeah uh but in general if you're a fan you should say whatever the fuck you want because you like like, like you're nervous they're nervous yes and, you know, and the same and, way that and, we've been nervous for people that that uh, have meant a lot to us it, it is it is the greatest honor i mean like going back like i, think... I remember i hit cargill with that one of the first bb live shows i was on oh, yeah oh yeah oh yeah because I, I loved, I grew up on Ain't It Cool News. Ain't It Cool News was so important, and he was a part of Ain't It Cool News. He might as well have been a part of the fucking Beatles to me. Uh, but I, I hit him with the, like, like oh, like, just... Because that's the other thing is that, like, for people who say that, they are also trying to prove, because in their world, they were cool for getting a thing earlier. So they're trying to bring you a compliment of, I got you when I was young, which makes me cool. Because they are still in a world where 
picking up on something early means something. Now, when you get older, you realize nobody gives a fuck. You don't get any kind of Sizzler gift certificate because you found a song before anybody else. You just appreciate it for what it is. And then if you want to build on top of it, build on top of it with, with, with whatever your own art is. But when you're young and finding things is new, the first things that you found matter and you remember them with searing accuracy. And so when you find the person that did the thing, you feel like that's bringing the golden plate. Like that is, that is the greatest thing the, like you can't honestly think of a bigger compliment. Well, and, and you're right because there is a secret language of like when somebody comes up and flashes the diamond club symbol or yeah. the first thing they mention is like a do bonanza and it's like, oh, we're we got a real player well, now, here. But, but now it's like literally, I'd give you my kidney. Like that's that's not even like yeah. fandom. That's like okay, well, like a uh, 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 Olive Garden, baby. When you're here, your family, right? Uh, uh, have Have you had? W w w you're now at the place where um, I'm certain people want to, you know, watermark exactly when they fell into your orbit or, or compliment somebody who isn't you, blah, blah, blah. How do you handle it? Well, my fandom is weird in that the thing that the most people know me for is still diamond club related stuff. Right. So it's either frog pants or diamond club or DTNS, but that's all like hardcore like audience. And so if anybody says any one of those things, I know immediately they're cool. Like, like, so, uh, if they're like, Oh, I've been listening to you since I was in eighth grade. It, it's, it's, it, it means something a little bit different. I think if I were in a situation where I had been in kind of a mass media world and that's, and that's, uh, uh I think what, what you had with scam school, where there's just a lot of people that randomly saw you because it was a bigger hit, then it's a little bit different because the, the, the pool is shallower. They're like, uh, I was eight when I saw scam school. And then you're like, ha. Huh? And they're like, that was it. <laughs> well, I, and on top of I that, I know one thing <laughs> I was eight when I saw scam school. And then you're like, I loved making scam school. And they're like, I was eight and that's pretty much it. Right. And so if it's shallow, I have not yet gotten, I've not had a big enough hit that that has been my experience. Now, maybe at some point there'll be some shit that that'll, that'll have that. But by and large, the people that have been nice enough to come up and talk to me are, are, are part of audiences and communities that are, 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 are pretty fucking hardcore. Well, and uh, uh, two things. Uh, the uh, uh, Remember, in the very early days, there was a brief moment that Revision 3 thought they were in competition with YouTube. And mm -hmm. as a result, there's a lot of people who discovered Scam School over BitTorrent. And I don't yeah, know. But, those, but anyone who says that, you know, you're immediately like, that's that's a like, we're, we're family. Right. Uh, any, any pre YouTube scam school fan. Like, I feel like they could say I was 11 when I saw scam school and you'd be like, ah. and they'd be like, I downloaded it on BitTorrent on revision three. And you'd be like, yeah, like it's like the only good thing that they could say after the age thing. Well, uh, because at least in that situation, you know, we get to start, you know, swapping names, you know, dignation, yeah. uh, 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 the broken, all of that stuff, uh, but uh, uh, again, I was I was afraid of it this year. Did not happen. Instead, everybody just wanted to talk about world's greatest con. Mwah, mwah. Couldn't have been happier. Look at that. Did you run into anybody who was eleven when they first started listening to World's Greatest Con? Uh, no. 
Well, <laughs> and we got some work to do now, don't we? Yeah, not, we not as much do. work as I had to do when uh, normally uh, I don't I don't pay attention on the motion alerts for the video cameras. Because you have a s- smart cameras that tell you when people are around HQ. Right. Um, but uh, but I did know that that Bonnie had like hired an intern, uh, a, a friend of of uh, Penelope's. And so who's I, that? Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to give her a name. Uh, but but no but no no. Who's Penelope? My daughter. You uh, what? Daughter. Hmm. You have a daughter. Oh, th- uh, three of them. Yeah. Keep secrets, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> All right. So so uh, uh, there was so much motion that that I did peek in. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's How her. old was your daughter when she met you? Did she ever come up to you and say, oh, my God, Brian Brushwood? I was zero when I met you. No, that's the beauty of having kids is all of them hate you. But, like, there's no doubt on this. But now that they know that it annoys you, uh, uh, they should all know uh, it. Thankfully, none <laughs> of them listen to this show. <laughs> So I'm getting all of these motion alerts, and and I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, that must be the assistant, I guess. And then I'm like, who's this fella? Okay, I don't know. Uh, and, then, uh, and then finally I get home. There's a stupid story of how I finally get home uh, 36 hours ago. But, like, I, I just text to Bonnie, it's 4 a.m. I took a taxi home. I've lost my keys. We'll fix it tomorrow. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. The end. I'm going to sleep. And then about five hours later, somebody comes into the green room that I don't recognize and just says, oh, and then leaves. And I'm and too tired to care. Uh, it turns out like I had to call Nathan and say, Nathan, did you come into the green room? I was cooking dinner when you called me. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. So, so wait a minute. Hold on. So you weren't sleeping in one of the bedrooms. You were sleeping in the green room. Yeah. Because it's the coldest. Oh, if I knew you were there, I would not have knocked or done anything. I was just bringing in mail. Yeah. Because that's a business portion of the building. Which is why I shouldn't have been sleeping there, but it was the coldest room. Well, and, and it's I was your building, tired. so you can do what the fuck you want, yes. right? Like, you know, there's, there's, you are, you are not, there is no allowed or not allowed for you here. You do whatever you want. Now, there are certain places that you can expect to not be awoken by Nathan with his Ellen DeGeneres haircut, but like, <laughs> But you are allowed to do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, so, n- uh, new look. Uh, Who this? <laughs> Man, no, I went. I think it looks good. I, I'm not mad at it. It's just I have spent like the past three or four years with curly hair, so to go back to short hair again was really fucking weird. I was going to Great Clips because, like, okay, just cut off, like, a few of the dead ends. Give me an undercut because curly hair is a pain in the ass to deal with. And this motherfucker just goes, verp. I'm like, oh, okay. Guess we're doing this now. I mean, it actually does not look bad. It looks big. I, I, I just didn't recognize you as all. Oh, no, you're all good. So, would, all right, so are you going to grow it out again? Yeah, I'm growing it back out. Yeah. Where do you want? Where do you want on the fro? Where Where is your like? Just use your hands to show. Generally, uh, kind of like here. Goofy enough before it goes down. <laughs> Hold on. Let, so let, you want? You want? You want? Let, you want, you let want, me you get want this pillow salad. and pull out the fluff to show yeah. on the fluff where you want to be. Okay. So so right before gravity takes it. Right before gravity takes it is my favorite spot. Yeah. And then a little bit after, but that's about as long as I want to go. So it should be about two months for me, thereabouts. Have you ever gone like full sideshow bob? Uh I have not gone full side sideshow bob. Like just where it's like it's it's out there. 
I was like, you just like, like, you, you know, you have to be a contact juggler at that <laughs> point. Oh my God. I, I've considered it, but it's also enough of a pain dealing with curly hair that I was like, nah. Does it take a lot of effort? It doesn't take a lot of effort. I'm just really lazy. Because, like, mm. my my go-to is just get out as fast as possible to whatever I'm doing. Yeah. So curly hair does not like that idea. You should invest in, in a, a normal routine where you have to do something. Have you, uh, uh, Youth and beauty will not last forever eventually you'll find yourself with poor manners asking a youtuber uh, uh whether or not they remember when they made an episode when you were 11 <laughs> uh question yep you ever grown a mustache i've grown pretty far i've considered going further i just i i've gotten into the mindset of if i'm gonna do a mustache i want to have a beard tagging along with it so i don't what kind of beard what are we talking about are we talking about a Wolverine style? Or yeah, kind, just the chops? Kind, I'm actually kind of the chops. That is actually something I've considered a little bit. So, All right, yeah. Brian, I need you to go to Udio.com real quick. <laughs> yeah, okay. I real, to to okay. I'm, I'm on because, my way. Because I'm I feel like way. now we're, we're painting a picture that <laughs> Nathan is a cop. And he's got a mustache and he's got chops. And he's, okay, got, okay. he's got the salad up top. And it's about to let gravity take it, and we just need to go to Udio and say a '70s <laughs> cop theme the uh, about a man with a mustache, mutton chops, uh, hair that is full but yet to be touched by gravity, and he has a gun. So. I, I love the irony of all this because this is an evolution of where my dad was, who did have just the plain mustache, a little bald, um, but he was a lawyer. So, you know, I'm the evolution of a cop, I guess. Well, no, but you're going to be dangerous. Mm. Yeah. that's You got you got something going on I see, that, I that we don't know about in episode one, but we find out a little hint of it at the end of the pilot, right? Got it, got you it. You know, so there's something. What do you think it'll be? Like, what's like the little mystery thing? Hmm. Unfortunately, you're the only one who could talk right now. I, I am the only one who can talk, and I was uh, probably like a missing person case. Oh, likely. okay. He has a weathered picture of a bicycle, because that could be a <laughs> lot of different things. We can figure it out later by yeah, yeah, like yeah. episode six, by the time we have to start painting this shit off. But it's just a weathered picture of a bicycle. So it, it's a cop. Mustache, mutton chops, uh, hair that is full but is yet to be touched by gravity, and in his old brown wallet, there's a weathered picture of a bicycle. I mean, we we're already halfway there, right? Can all you right. enter all that into Udio? Yeah, I, I I could do that as as long as you give me a style. Oh, a uh, a uh, uh, '70s television cop theme. Okay. 70s TV cop thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, like that. I, I don't know. Does Udio allow, like, I guess we would say, uh, uh, soulful female vocals? <laughs> Is that something that. Would not be flagged as insensitive to say soulful female vocals. All right, here's what I'm. Is I don't want white people. I want. I don't want white people. That's that's allowed to be said. Okay. Uh, so far I that's have it. '70s TV cop theme. Nathan's got chops. Yeah. They're thick and w just won't stop, just like his thirst for justice. Mm -hmm. And I'm hitting generate. There we go. <laughs> and uh, all right, so hold on, Nathan. All right, cut to Nathan. You need to look right in the camera because. When you grow this out, when we play this song, we want to do a big morph <laughs> from where you are right now I, to I, where you go. 
All right. Okay. So as as this song plays, it's being generated right now uh, uh, via AI. But when it's when it, when it's done, now are you committing? I guess we we should have asked you. Are you committing to growing this style? I can commit to grow this style for an episode. For the yeah. bit. For the bit. I I can go for the bit. You grow hair fast, right? Yeah, I grow hair fast. You are you are of the of the uh, the, the, the <laughs> We also found out he loses races. hair fast. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> right. Well, I I didn't recognize him on the camera. I'm oh, like, oh, you who's by this the haircut? Man? Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Okay, I, thought, I thought you were calling him bald. I'm like, that's okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So we got uh, we got chasing justice okay. or Nathan's vigilante beat. Just or... cut. Just cut to Nathan and hit play on one of them. <laughs> okay. Oh Lord. All right. Here we go. And and I'm going to turn this off. I'm not hearing anything. Is it playing? Is it playing? That probably looks really weird, Chad. No, I, I have a good monitor. I'm just trying to like see what's, what's going on there. I'm just clicking create a lot i think i'm spending money wait you're not playing i mean what it's not playing like does it does it is is there a play thing at the bottom of the window there uh, there is but i think it's just an indication of how many times other people have played it <laughs> oh i think it's still going or like it's still generating yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, in, in the meantime. Oh, yeah. What's your thing? Uh, 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 Brian, if you go to your name at gmail.com. Oh, my, my, uh, spelled out my name? Or? No, no, no. The, the one that's famous. Okay. Um, I got sent something in my P.O. box because uh, you, it, me, and Andrew Heaton were unfortunately denied our ability to invest in the arts by buying a nine-foot-tall Jar Jar Binks. And so I went to my P.O. box the other day, and I found uh, what was sent to me by a beautiful human, uh, and I really wish I would have brought this because... It is a a awesome and amazing thing. Let me make sure that this sent because sometimes let me yeah, I, th I, I think I we, see we, it. We got it. This this looks correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and click on that. It's a street <laughs> sign of Jar Jar Binks with flowers all around him, holding an orb on one of them weird Gungan uh, tauntauns. What are they offering? It, no, it's in our hands. We've we, we've secured it. The Jar Jar Investment Group has secured its first piece of Jar Jar art, and oh, it was real? given to us gratis. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. I'm here. Yeah. For, I'm, I'm 100,000. 100, so we've invested percent. in our first piece of Jar Jar art, or Jar Jar, as we refer to it. <laughs> Jar Jar. Jar Jar. Yes. We refer, yeah, our, our first piece of Jar. Okay, well, I'm going to keep trying to click. Uh, hit, well, you know what? Here, I'll just show this to all of us at the same time. Uh, gentlemen. Yes. Well, well where, uh, where do I click the GBD jobs? Uh, that's not where it's, it's literally the logo of. No, so go to the right. Yes. So, yeah, the art, the art, the art. Yes. Click oh, the art. I see. Yeah. Okay, well, this says Shadows of the Night. Let's hope. Nathan is the cop, he's got his badge and gun. Rolling through the streets, making burps run. Underneath the street law, he's got the edge, got the edge, got the edge. In the 70s, he's more dangerous than you know. He's one bad mother and he's ready to roll. Cop chop mud, extravaganza. Watch out for Nathan, cause he.
All right, is that butch enough? No, no. Look, it's fine. It is what it is. But go to the ones with the soulful female singers. <laughs> I, I, I. This is Nathan. Nathan Silver Force. He's ready for the duty. Just cut to all Nathan. Got that cop chop, modern extravaganza. He's from the seventies, more dangerous than ever. Handcuffs, badges, he's got it all. Sirens well, lights flash. He's on the prowl, he's on the prowl. Watch out now, watch out now. He's a cop, hey, he's the cop. He's the cop, hey, he's the cop. Nathan's on through the street, and he's coming after you. Street light shadows, all right, pause it, outside. pause it. Look, I want to give notes here, Nathan. But this only works when you just stare very seriously into the camera. So no more business, no more waving your hands. No, no, no not, irony. No yeah, irony. No irony. You just have to, you have to, look, this is, and it's not because we want to humiliate you for fun. It is because <laughs> we need a clean shot of when we morph you with your new with your new haircut and facial hairstyle. You got it? Okay. Because that's definitely going to be a thing we're going to remember. All right, here we go. This one's called Chasing Justice. Almost over. Are there no words? <laughs> I don't know, man. If I see him in a leather jacket driving through Chicago, I, I, I mean, I'm there. No, but we for... only have words. The words are the key. Well, let's let's try chasing justice too. Okay. either yeah i don't think so so let's go to the beat of justice all right that sounds like one Okay, that, all right. No, that was that was great. All right, pretty David, good. on on the next one. Yep. So you're definitely looking straight into the camera, but this time I want you to just let 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 the feeling take you, but just a wink. And it can go as slow as you want. Maybe it's a wink and a nod, but nothing other than a wink and a nod. All right? Okay. One wink, one nod. Look Brian, at, what's the next? I'm I'm looking for a gun. I'm sorry. This one's called On the Boat. Am I here fucking talking to myself? I'm trying to make you a goddamn star. 
Man, you're going to be swimming in pussy as soon as this video comes <laughs> out. We're making a fucking theme song for you. You're going to morph like a 90s manimal into like your new version. I'm trying to do you a favor. And I, I give you I give you a little bit of breathing room. And now you're finger pointing like you're some kind of uh, a way to direct somebody to a, a holiday inn. Brian, do we have any other songs? Guilty as I, 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 We will in a, a couple of moments. No, 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 no. We have one more song. That's it. And then, and then we got to play the game. Deadpan, one wink, got it. Deadpan, one wink. But you're feeling... I, I like your vibe. I'm sorry I yelled. I like your vibe. <laughs> I like your vibe. I think you have a very good vibe. It's only because I feel like we're almost there that I want to shepherd us to the top this of the mountain. This is why he's a good producer. All right? He yells at you. I yep. yell at you because I can't control my emotions. How do you think <laughs> World's That's Greatest how, Con yes. comes out that good? It, it's because I am a tyrant <laughs> and I just don't control myself because others are not as good at controlling themselves. That's how I work. Okay. Are we are we ready? Yeah. Oh, not not yet ready. You know what? Maybe now is a good time to remind people that before they fuck it up, yeah. People could go to patreon.com slash great night because it is about to implode. No, well, it will implode in a year. They made a really dumb decision where essentially the only way that I make money is now not going to be the way that I make money anymore. Well, that, that that in what way does that sound like they're not about to implode? Yeah, well, I mean, no, it is. You're right. You're right. Okay. I, I, I'm just saying that nobody needs to panic right now. Money does not need to panic. Well, okay, let me put it this way. If you plan to panic, why don't you plan it by going to patreon.com slash great night yeah. so you can panic all at once because we all know big crowds of people covered in the crust of Building 7 is how things get done around here. So, yeah, number one, let me just say this. Scuba Never Girl says Apple iOS is at fault. Androids are a good investment, it seems. It's not even about Apple. They're blaming it on Apple because they know that there's a large contingent of people that will buy it. It Patreon's been trying to go away from what we know as per-creation billing for a while. It was what Patreon was built on, which is when you do a YouTube video, because they were a YouTube video site before they were a podcast site, uh, then you charge your audience. And that worked. What they've been pushing to do, I assume, because it simplifies their back end, is monthly billing or annual billing. Uh, and that's fine. It, it is what it is. Everyone winds up getting billed monthly no matter what. It's not like I get the money as soon as I publish an episode. We have to wait till the end of the month for all the charges to go through. Uh, everything's fine. The reason why they said they had to do this was because Apple decided to reclassify what their app was in the Apple App Store. Uh, I will add that the only reason why Apple did that is because they kept adding fucking features nobody uses. But Patreon is still where we make our living and uh, uh, we still depend on you and we still depend on this service. So no matter how mad I am, thank you for everybody who supports us there. Patreon.com slash great night. And uh, we will continue to use that service until we tell you otherwise. But uh, boy, uh, it wasn't just an Albany phrase that I was esteemed ham when I got <laughs> that particular uh email. So it looks like Justice on the Move is too saucy to be played just yet. But we do have Chops of Justice. All right. One more thing. Cut to Nathan. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Nathan's got chops. Nathan just won't stop Get the dust is making criminal drop. You can see his mustache growing in real time. Catch 
Pretty good. Pretty good. Not going to lie. Chops of Justice is uh, uh, that got us the female vocal that we wanted. Yep. 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 There we go. Soulful, soulful vocal. Uh, there we go. Chops of Justice. That's the winner. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> do we have a game? Yes, we do. Our game tonight is called Attack of the Names. You'll be presented with five strange and peculiar names for foods, objects, technologies, and even actions or phrases. Your job is to determine oh, what... Yeah! <laughs> Your job is to determine what category a particular name falls into. A point will be awarded for each correct guess, with a bonus point going if you can give me an accurate definition. Ready. Go. All right. <clears throat> it's your boy. <laughs> the first name is Throbber. Your options are food, object, technology, action slash phrase. That is a object, a Throbber. Okay. Wait, Throbber or Throbbert? Throbber. Can I? Can you spell can it? Can you spell it? T H R O B B E R. Yeah, that's a Throbber. So you're saying it's an action? Oh no, it's it's a piece of important tech. Oh, like hey, don't forget the Throbber. It's like hey, I, I think the hey, throbbers. I need the pipe wrench, I need the hex wrench, I need these wenches and i need the throbber yeah Arr, what do you mean the throbber's broken chewy <laughs> uh all right so wait, wait, wait give me give me the 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 buckets again food object technologies or action slash phrase i'm gonna say it's an action slash phrase a throbber all there's right. a million different ways you can make a throbber uh, uh, but the best way is with someone you love after you're married. Tonight, we were looking for the definition of throbber being an object or technology, a widget consisting of a static image that animates during the execution of a task. It is a loading icon. That is the technical term coming from Jargon Watch, a pocket dictionary for the Jitterati, published in 1997. So who wins? Brian, you get a point. Chops licking just won't stop. God damn. Thirst in the dust is making criminal drop. You can I'm see his grow mustache growing stash. in real time. Catch it, bad guys. Oh. This is their show. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's right. go. Also, gentlemen. Order in the court. Order in the court. Thank you. All right. I also forgot I get to introduce tonight's prize. One moment. I think y'all will really appreciate this. Okay. You gotta talk into Norm the mic. Yeah, normally yeah, mics talk are the mic. for talking into. Tonight, you'll be competing for something fresh off the presses, and I'm so happy that one of you beautiful diamonds sent in some Jart, because Jart Buddha. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> A golden 3D printed Buddha Jar Jar. Oh, all right. Yo, we got some Jart up in this bitch. <laughs> Anyways. All right, 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 all right. Your next name to decipher. Holy shit, we've got a little Jart collection. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we got to text Heaton this. Hold on, I'm going to text Heaton the, the first thing, and then he's going to be even more excited with the second one. Please go ahead. Your next name to decipher is Pakayake. This is either a food, an object, technology, or an action slash phrase. Say it again. Pakayake. Say paka it. Yoke. Sorry. So what? Pakayoke. P O K A dash Y O K E. Pakayoke. Could could you? I can use it in a sentence. I'd like that. Yeah, we have this thing to be sure that even a pakayoke couldn't fuck it up. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay, um, and, and the categories are? Food, object, technology, action, slash, phrase. Technology. 
I think it's a food. I would love to eat it. I would love to eat it, and I would recommend it on Yelp. You would recommend it on Yelp? No, don't play it all the time. <laughs> and uh, mix them up, because we got a lot of them. <laughs> unfortunately, gentlemen, neither of you are correct. Paka yolk is... Uh, defined as mistake proofing or error prevention, otherwise known as dummy proofing, uh, coming from using Paka Yolk, Technologies for Early uh, Defect Detection, published in 1997. This is a Japanese phrase. <laughs> yeah, that's us. That's I don't give a that's shit. that's our car falling into the river. Yeah, yep, I, don't yep, a, yep. I don't give a yeah. I don't give a shit. All right, in the eighties. <laughs> what did Japan ever do in the 80s? Next name for you to decipher. Aglet. A-G-L-E-T. Is this food, object, technology, or action slash phrase? Justin, yeah. I, would, I would like to yield the first opportunity to well, you. Well, I mean, look, uh, 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 ladies, we've all been around an aglet, a phrase slash action, you know? They're, 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 uh, uh, they, they think they aggro, but they're a little aglet. Oh no, they got a little, 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 little legs flipping around. Oh, I'm an aglet. I'm slipping into your DMs now. I hope I don't send a dick pic. Whoops. I'm a little aglet. Anyway, so, that, so, that old that old canard. Yeah. Uh, so 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 your official answer is his phrase slash whatever. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> if I may, your okay. honor. Mm -hmm. Uh. An aglet are those little plastic tips at the end of your bootlaces. Correct, Brian. That brings you up to two points. It was first uh, cited in the Merriam Dictionary in the 14th century. That's or, bullshit, though. Or, it sorry, could not be, cited in the dictionary, first used and recorded. My bad. It was probably named for fuckboys, though. We don't know where it came from. Hold on. Um, Look it up. The entomology. Hold on. Uh, Siri, what is the proper pronunciation of aglet? Oh. In the middle drop, you can uh. see his mustache growing in real time. All right, sorry. Nice. All right, next name for y'all to decipher. <laughs> really screwed that one up. Is a cocket. C O C K E T. Is this food, object, technology, or an action slash phrase? I got it. That's a food. Uh, pick up a pocket. Uh, pick it up. Uh, Hot uh, cockets. <laughs> just a cocket. Yeah. No, you just get a cocket in your mouth. Roll it around, man. Tastes great. Less filling. Cock it. Anybody... Cock it rocket, dude. That's what they used to call me in middle school because I would eat them so fast. If, um, if, nom, 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 Like Pac-Man. Pop, 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 pop. All in my mouth. Um, i like, boy, this guy loves cock it like something fierce. That's what my high school gym teacher would say because that's where I ate lunch. <laughs> Honest yeah. cock. Yeah. Uh, no, I used to eat cock it. <laughs> Don't be fucking gross, dude. <laughs> Don't be fucking gross, dude. <coughs> the fuck. The fuck. Okay. All right. Uh, the uh, I used to eat cock it. Yeah. No. Uh. Uh. uh Two heads. <laughs> Sturdy. So strong. I wouldn't leave anything to chance when I was eating cock it. No, I would get it all in my mouth, and everyone would be real proud of me. What 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 are the Wait, other? Wait, no, you have options? to make your pick. Uh, the, I'm asking what the other options oh, are. Oh, sorry, I your was just thinking about cockpit. Food, technology, objects, or action slash phrase. Brian, oh, what is a cock? Co oh, cockpits when you really fuck it up. I mean, here here's the sound of fucking it up like a cockpit. Me and the boys just cocking it, sitting around just rocking it. Justin over there sucking cock of it, swears it's not gay. No, I was doing a double entendre. 
Oh, no, I was doing a single on time. Yeah, no, you were just doing a gay joke. Yeah. Mine was clever and fun. Yeah. Yours was direct and homophobic. <laughs> well, I mean, there's only one way to make sure. Yeah. Oh, damn. Sucking that dick. All right. All right. <laughs> no, no. Now okay. you're just bullying. <laughs> now you're just burning all the things that were magical repeatedly and bullying at the all same right, time. All right, Brian. What is a cock it? It's a fuck up. It's a fuck up, so action or phrase? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, Brian, you are incorrect. As Justin, a cock it is in fact food. It is a uh, no longer used term for a fine leavened bread uh, found in the Oxford Dictionary circa 1325. Hell yeah! All right, gentlemen, for our final name, worth a grand whopping total of three points, your word is gooner. Ha! <laughs> uh. Your options are food, <clears throat> object, technology, or action slash phrase. Phrase, action. All right. I, I like where we are now, so I'm going to impose a slight guess here. Can you give me a definition? I can give you two. Fucking. Uh, fucking. How many, wait, hold on. How many definitions can you give? I can give you two definitions for Gooner. Can um, you give can you give more than two, Brian? Because that's a tiebreaker. I bet you both of mine are accurate. A gooner. Wait, no, no, no. How many? Uh, can it, is it more than two? Two is the max. You can can you give definition both definitions for gooner? Brian. I'm gonna for that fucking jar jar. I need that <laughs> jar jar. I need that jar jar. I'm bringing it back to our fucking group chat. <laughs> Stop it. Don't. No. No. Can you name both? I know one is somebody straight gooning. What's fucking that mean? Jerking off all day long. Okay. I would imagine that is gooners never say die. So that's True. kind of a second definition. Nope. Ah, I'm, 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 I'm out. So we understand that one of them is long-term jerkers uh, yes. who deny orgasm as long as possible for their jerk pleasures. Correct. And brag just fucking, oh, straight gooning. And they are also... Supporters of the Arsenal Football Club. You motherfucker, you got it. Justin, what? you win with four points. What? What? what now is... you don't play the song? <laughs> of all the fucking times, I now play the goddamn song? Wait, here. Nathan, go, no, no, go to the camera. Just zoom, zoom in. Explain the second part to me. Uh, so Arsenal is a Premier League team from London, but uh, they are the Gunners. They have a cannon for a logo. Uh, and so they're supporters, fans. They're hardcore. They don't want to call them hooligans because that, that got into a racist, weird, violent phase. Uh they they are called the Gooners, and so it's like if you're a fan, you're you're a Gooner. Now that eventually became jerking off to like seven terabytes of pornography, which is probably an unfortunate turn for them. But uh, yeah, they are the same name. It's really fucking good. That song. 
<laughs> Dude, yes. The it's cho- really good. Chops of Justice. Nathan's got chops in the... Meh, meh, meh. Uh, I wish this last one would be fixed. Hey, you want to know what? Let's not fixate on it, and let's instead have Nathan tell us uh, where you can help him with games as we continue with this new run of games. Howdy, you beautiful diamonds. You can find me and the wonderful community we have over here at bit.ly slash na discord. There's a particular thread called uh, Great Night Shows and Games where I'm usually uh, researching for games every week. Thanks for being awesome, y'all. Woo! Brian, what part of the studio should we um, make into the display area for Jar Jar? It's uh, for, uh, Jar Jar? For Jar Jar. Because <clears throat> I feel like what's going to... Look. We're investors. So what we need to do is display the jar jart that we that we have procured uh, in a good manner. So we might then put prices on it and then sell it because we are jar jart investors. This is a this is look, we're in it for the money. We don't yeah. give a fuck about jar jar. Yeah. We don't give a shit, dude. Uh uh. Misa don't give a fuck. What we're in here is for the sweet Skrilla. We know that Jar Jar equals green. All it, right. It, George Lucas knew it and we know it. So we're going to collect as much Jar Jar art as possible. We're going to show it off in a clean, exciting way. And then we're going to fucking sell it off at the highest dollar value. It does. This is a get rich quick scheme for Jar Jar. It, 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 does feel like uh, just uh, uh, over your, to, uh, from my perspective, your left yeah. shoulder, over your right shoulder, uh, that area. That, that direction over there? Just just a triangle all the way up filled yeah. with nothing but, but, but jars to the tarts. Yeah. Jar jar? Yeah. Nothing but jar jar? Yeah. Look, I'll tell you what. This fucking dickhead who stiffed us on this nine-foot Jar Jar is going to feel like a real horse's ass when he's not a part of the premier Jar Jar gallery in the world. In the world. Nobody is going to value Jar Jar like we will in this studio. And so we want you to continue to send us your Jar Jar. We want homemade Jar Jar. We want commercial Jar Jar, uh, uh, including this. Look at look at what this piece. Oh my God, Brian, it's it's Jar Jar. Uh, 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 we we like to call this one. This is a 2024 Jar Jar Golden Buddha. He's got a, a, a big old fat belly, probably sacrilegious. I don't know enough about Buddha. Uh, but he still smells like cry lawn spray paint. <laughs> and I'm now second guessing kissing it. Uh, this could eventually be yours. What is the price? I don't know. It depends on you. Send in your bids on what this golden Buddha jar jar means to you. Because again, we are... Jar Jar investors, uh, investors. It, real quick, could you, could you just rub that belly for a luck? Oh, you yeah, oh, yeah, well. I mean, it feels like there's a song playing when I rub it. Well, well let's find out. There's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rub it more. Chop Chops of Justice doesn't want to play right oh, now. Oh no. No. How about, uh, 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 how about uh, Shadows way, of way, Surrender? Uh, 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 Weird Amai says, he looks 3D printed, so it's worth zero. Oh, wait, hold on. This one? The gold Jar Jar <laughs> that's been on the internet? <laughs> worth zero? <laughs> My friend, I think not. I think that somebody will pay $1 for this by next week. We are here as the premier Jar Jar gallery to deal exclusively in Jar Jar. All right? Yeah. No, no, no. This is going to this is going to move. This is going to move. This is going to move. Look, we already have a bid for $2. Oh, here we go. Let, there, zoom, zoom back in. Stop. There's the 
the dust is making criminal drop. You can see his mustache growing in real time. Catch it, bad guys, this is daily crime. Hates on the beat, he's the law we need. Must this is going to sell so much, man. The By the way, there's only one of these. He's clean and the bad guy's clean. Uh, oh, by the way, the bidding the bidding is rising right now. It's okay. already up to seven dollars for we're 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 gonna have to the get Golden a toll free number to to do this properly. Are, are we gonna have to have an auction, a Jar Jar auction? I mean, I we, I, all right, we, I think we, we, we have we a need, lot of stuff we have to auction off. We we need to build build up the gallery, and uh, and 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 there we go. So send in your Jar Jar. If you have any Jar Jar laying around. Look, a lot of you guys were uh, alive in the 90s. Brian knows. You came up and told me you watched Game School when you were in. <laughs> I'm sure you've got some Jar Jar. Anything with Jar Jar Banks, we're going to go ahead and send it on in. If you have anything, hit me up on Twitter, Justin R. Young. I'll give you the P.O. box. Uh, and, and you can send anything that you would like into the show. We're going to build a little gallery. Back there, where we will display for a couple weeks this Jar Jar, and then we'll have Jart Basil, uh, uh, Jar Jart Basil, where we will we will have an event. It will be a a very serious event. Jarmageddon. Jarmageddon will will happen, and then we will sell as many pieces of Jar Jar as we can. Should 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 we give like just straight up the address here? Uh, I mean, it's your property. Okay. Uh, I, I would say for now, let's see how excited people are. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, 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 but it, it, if I'm feeling momentum like you're feeling momentum. <laughs> I'm feeling the I'm momentum. I'm feeling that we could do, we could build an entire little gallery of Jar Jar. I, I feel mean, like this uh, is maybe uh, the first bit uh, that Bonnie would be excited about on this show <laughs> in fucking a decade. <laughs> And we could have a full-on gallery show of Jar Jar, and we could legitimately sell shit for fucking whatever people would pay. I mean, like, just 8 to 12 hours straight, <laughs> just Jar Jar again. I think it'd be fucking amazing. All right, Brian, what have we learned today? Uh, you know what? Uh, we learned that, uh, uh, <laughs> that we're all glad to be back home. Hell if yeah. only for a moment. If only. If only. Uh, 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 we learned that, uh, uh, I was, uh, uh, 20 when I first saw Scam School. <laughs> we learned that, uh, that Nate looks fabulous no matter how his hair is quaffed because he's going to grow some sweet, sweet chops. Exactly. And, and we learned that Nathan is the new Oprah. It's the new what? Ellen joke. Move oh. on. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, but most importantly, we learned that we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Do it's, us a favor. Die in a fire. It's been a great night. Just my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. Oh. Grey night You keep me alive You help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A single bed, a later night A pause, the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been Love you guys.